Young Alexander. Graham Bell watches his mother, Eliza, with wide-eyed curiosity. Eliza gently touches Alexander Melville Bell's throat, her brow furrowed in concentration as she deciphers his speech. Alexander Melville. Bell smiles warmly at his son and wife, radiating encouragement and love. Inside Bell's cluttered lab, Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Watson struggle through another failed experiment. Bell's voice rises with determination. There has to be a way, Watson. If we can send dots and dashes, why not the human voice itself? Watson responds with doubt. It seems impossible, Mr. Bell. The vibrations are too complex. Bell's eyes light up with renewed resolve. We must persist. Imagine the possibilities. Bell stands with the transmitter. Watson at the receiver, both poised with anticipation. Acid splatters onto Bell, his face twisting in agony. Bell's cry pierces the air. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Watson shouts back, his voice filled with amazement. I heard you, Bell. I heard you clearly. Bell, triumphant, declares. It worked, Watson. We did it. We sent the human voice over wires. 